and another one of the speakers that you're going to be seeing on the main stage later today, that is cartoonist Kathy Wilcox, of course, right here at TEDx Sydney 2016. We are still in the lunch break and this is the live stream. So a big hello to you if you're watching around the country. Now though, pretty excited because it's time for the St George Kickstart Fast Pitch. And this is huge, this is huge. Uh, it's the second year that we've been hosting the finale of the St George Grants program here at TEDx Sydney. And if it's anything like last year's pitch session, I can guarantee you I watched it, you are in for an absolute treat. And, oh my God, this year St George have completely upped the ante. They're giving away, I should have entered, damn it. They're giving away five grants of $25,000. Huge, amazing stuff. Uh, and we know that these grants really help so far because Gen uh, St George have actually granted the small business community $200,000 and it's making a huge difference to startups all around Australia. So, there were 400 applications for this year. That has been whittled down, I don't know how they did this, but to just 50, uh, 13 finalists, 13 finalists and they're about to take the stage. So let's get to it. This is the St George Kickstart Fast Pitch. Okay, uh, thanks Fenella. I think you've pretty much covered it there. Welcome to St George Fast Pitch. I'm looking straight into that camera, so I'm gonna get a bit of retina burn here. Hopefully you're all getting a good tan where you are. Um, so yes, Fenella's basically covered it. The one thing that she didn't mention was these guys, these 13 Kickstarters, our finalists, have only 60 seconds to pitch their ideas to our three judges. That's only 60 seconds. Um, Stephen Fenley, uh, one of the TEDx curators, uh, has been helping and training, guiding these guys through their talks throughout the week. And he has likened uh, pitching your idea in 60 seconds to trying to shove a doona into a champagne bottle. It is very, very hard stuff. We're going to get straight to it. Let me just introduce the judges. To my left is Remo Jaffray, who you probably have already met already. He's a licensee and the leader of TEDx Sydney. Welcome, Remo. Happy to be here. Thanks, Siobhan. Uh, then we've got Jack DeLosa, uh, of the entourage. Welcome, Jack. Thanks for judging. And we've got uh, Kathy Youngkin. She's the general manager of business for St. George Group. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you, Siobhan. So very excited to be here and can't wait to see these amazing finalists. So the reason why these guys have all got their tablets on here is not just so they can sit there and multitask. They are actually going to be scoring and judging live with a Google app, with the Google, Google app doc. Um, so just quickly, what are we looking for uh, for our five winners? Remo. Two criteria. Um, the quality of the idea, the amount of creativity that we perceive there to be in the idea and, and then the delivery on the day. And I guess inherent in the quality of the idea is the, um, the uh, sustainability of it, the, the, the strength of the business model. How hard is it to judge? How hard is it to whittle down 13 to just five, Jack? It's incredibly hard to judge. It's a lot harder to pitch. I do agree with the champagne bottle and the Duna metaphor. I think that's very appropriate. So these guys are all very brave and courageous coming up here. So as an audience, let's make sure we're very kind to them. Kathy, any advice to our 13 finalists? Don't get distracted. And you're all stars to be here in the final. Um, I, you are all winners today. All right, without further ado, let's get straight into it. First up, we have Susan She from Bubble. And your time starts now. We know people love to chat and ask questions, but 85% of people feel shy to connect with others they haven't met. So we made Bubble. Bubble is an anonymous moving chat app where you can message anyone within a 10 meter radius of yourself. 
So when you move, your bubble moves, whether you're at TEDx, at uni or at the office. No hashtags, no profiles, just chat immediately to the people you can see and the space you can see. Our users say it's a little bit addictive. Australian businesses spent $600 million on analytics last year. Bubble can build hotspots for businesses, whether you're an event or you're a moving train. We're working with them right now to commercialise the platform's data so they can understand where people are talking about what and where foot traffic comes from. So unlike any other analytics that measures your digital space, we're measuring and providing insights on your physical space. And Let's kick start. Time. Thank you, Susan. Saffron Howden from Crinkling News. And your time starts now. Good afternoon. This is Crinkling News, Australia's only national newspaper for kids. Children are naturally curious about the world around them, but we want to shield them from the worst aspects of it. And that's why I started this paper. We tell all the news adults consume without the boring or the scary bits. We tell it in a child-friendly way and we explain it. Crinkling News is produced by experienced professional journalists and photographers. I myself have been a reporter for over 15 years, most recently with the Sydney Morning Herald. And we're already cherished. This week we printed our fifth edition and we already have around 1,500 subscribers. The model works. There are hugely successful kids' newspapers around the world. Um, and while print circulation generally is in decline, kids' newspapers are on the rise. We know kids love us, we know teachers and parents love us, but we need your help to get crinkling news into more school libraries, more classrooms, and get that crinkling sound across breakfast tables around Australia. Thank, Thank you. you, Saffron. Rob Kaslick from Too Good Co. Oh, and your time starts now. Lisa escaped to a domestic violence shelter with her five-year-old daughter. She has suffered years of physical and psychological abuse. She has very little self-worth and almost no belongings. Together, we can change this. Our two good lunches are designed by Australia's greatest chefs, Neil Perry, Kylie Kwong, Matt Moran, Peter Gilmore. Two good lunch you buy, we give the same lunch to women like Lisa in a refuge. Testimonials from our partners, Domestic Violence New South Wales, plus the 22 refuges we've served statewide prove making some impact. We have served over 10,000 of these lunches to companies like Westpac, Telstra, Channel 9, and today's TEDx Meal. But what we are most proud of is we employ women from the refuges we serve to make these lunches. We want to work with St George to build a killer website that will scale our business and take Too Good National. Together, we have the ability to nourish every domestic violence shelter in the country. Thank you, Nick. Carl Vorkel from Stacklift, and your time starts not now. Sorry? That's on my list. Oh, OK. Sorry, my, my apologies. Uh, Nick, Nick Huff, sorry. Great proof. And your time starts now. Imagine if the spell check you use every day was actually intelligent. What if it could rephrase, restructure, and rework ordinary sentences into truly eloquent expressions? Introducing Gradeproof, a proofreading service with the most intelligent rephrasing system in the world. Whether you're refining a business email, preparing a blog, or even writing a speech for TEDx, Gradeproof is there as you type, offering powerful improvements for poorly worded phrases. We have 10 thousand writers, journalists, marketers and uh, students from around the world and we've grown by 300% organically in the last two months. As a bootstrap team of two, we need the St George Kickstart grant so we can cont continue to support our active users and roll out our premium subscription service to all our platforms. Gradeproof could be an integrated feature in every word processor, every browser and every device in the world. With your help, we can teach the world how to write with eloquence. Thank you, Nick. Carl Vorkel, this time, from Stacklift. And your time starts now. For the last two years, I've been working with manufacturers in Australia and in China, developing a fast and flexible way to move stock without bad backs and dislocated shoulders. Our system completely eliminates manual labour and speeds up work. <laughs> it, uh, it, 
Stacklift is a spring-powered scissor lift, which uses a learning algorithm to automatically lift stock to the right height. It has an arsenal of plugins, such as motorized wheels, sensors, and、uh, programmable software, which allow a business owner to easily optimize their existing process. We've got this far with foregone savings, but with a grant from St George, we'll finally be able to accept our pre-orders. Then we can help the thousands of businesses who still stack and lift the old way, because for the little guy, automation is a big deal. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Melissa Fuller from Ability Mate, and your time starts now. Marusha has cerebral palsy. A year ago, she couldn't drive her wheelchair because she couldn't hold the joystick. To fix this, she would have had to pay a thousand dollars and wait eight months. Marusha is not alone. The World Health Organization estimates that there are one billion people worldwide, and only one in ten get the devices they need. Our online platform, Ability Mate, changes that by connecting people with disabilities to designers and makers. Together, they co-create open-source designs that can be 3D printed anywhere in the world for a tenth of the current price. Marusha came to Ability Mate, and she got her joystick. It cost 37 cents in materials and took three hours. 37 cents and three hours. We've made a dozen other devices. Our model is scalable. Now we need St George's help to build the platform and create enormous impact for others. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa. <laughs> Joe Chukolo from Two Hoots, and your time starts now. Globally, companies are spending billions of dollars on customer support. So why are you left waiting on hold? And there's no central spot or consistent way for you to lodge your complaint until now. Two Hoots is a web app for all complaints. It's fast, response guaranteed, no waiting required. It's as easy to use as social media, yet we send it right into the organisation. So. Organisations are charged a subscription fee for access to the platform. We streamline their process and give them all the information they need to resolve your complaint. For example, we're working with Telstra to provide a guaranteed 24-hour turnaround. The relevant person in Telstra receives the who, what, and where, which enables fast and effective resolution. My Kickstart grant will go towards a PR blitz to help more consumers like you and to start scaling globally. We give two hoots about your complaint, and I bet St George Thank Bank does、Joe. too. Jan Koldek from Airbuddy, and your time starts now. The underwater world is fascinating, with some beautiful coral and amazing species of fish. But scuba diving is not exactly a grab-and-go sport, not like surfing or biking. You need to look up a dive center, you need to call, you need to book, you need to go there, pick up your tanks, transport to the dive site, and rush back to return before the dive shop closes. It's a hassle, and it costs something. That's why we designed Airbuddy, which essentially is a cross between snorkeling and scuba diving. It's a battery-powered portable dive compressor that floats on the surface. And follows along as you dive. You dive for 45 minutes, up to maximum depth of 12 meters. No air tank, no BCD. All you need to do is charge the batteries at home, and you're ready to go. After three years of development and five generations of prototypes, we are very excited to bring everybody to you. Please join us, so together we build up the momentum that will take us to the next phase. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. James Oliver is next up. He's from Conway, and your time starts now. Picture in your mind a wall of shipping containers, 20 high and two kilometres long. This represents the 6,000 container units exported every day from Australia, and that's a drop in the ocean compared to the 140 million containers globally that will be affected by the new container weight laws that come into effect as of July 1 this year. Put simply. If your container arrives at port without proof of weight, it will not leave. Conway makes having your container weighed as easy as catching an Uber. Phone app or web click to book, and we'll come to your container on demand. With this equipment and this technology, 
In around 20 minutes, we'll weigh your container and provide the data you need instantly at less than half the price of your alternatives. Now we need your help to stress test our services in June and weigh 500 containers Australia-wide free of charge to ensure that we can help keep Australia's export industry flowing after July 1. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Ian Conway Lamb is next from Iridium Dynamics and your time starts now. Imagine a portable aeroplane that flies for hours, it hovers extremely efficiently and it takes off and lands vertically like a helicopter. We're developing an unmanned aircraft with a hybrid, highly efficient airframe on the screen behind you. It can automatically survey thousands of hectares, ten times more than existing drones, and at under two kilograms, you can operate it without a license. Agricultural land accounts for 52% of Australia's land mass, and managing these large areas is expensive. Our Halo platform provides large area imaging to Australia's 77,000 farming businesses in our $150 billion industry. Farmers can more efficiently uh, apply pesticides, graziers can monitor food across pastures, and, more, uh, and monitoring the livestock safety by ensuring the dams, troughs and fence lines are checked is far less labour intensive. At Rheum Dynamics, we're making this high performance imaging platform available to farmers to increase their yield, dramatically lower costs and more efficiently feed the world. Thank you. Fantastic. Graham Ross is next from Kusaga Athletic and your time starts now. Everyone in this room will touch a textile today, even if you walk around naked. Textiles are everywhere. We sit in them, we sleep in them, and of course we wear them. The problem is, the textile industry is the second largest polluter on the planet and a massive user of land and water. Do you know it takes 3,000 litres of water to make just one cotton t-shirt? There has to be a better way, right? So we reimagined the textile industry and created four revolutionary fabrics. And then we made a t-shirt that uses less than 1% of the water of a regular cotton tea. It's the greenest t-shirt on the planet. It's the new cotton, a better product for the same price. But this isn't just about making a t-shirt. Kasaga Athletic is about making a difference. We care a lot about future generations and what we're leaving behind. Climate change is here, and we believe sustainable clothing is the future. Winning the St George Grant will help us deliver the greenest tea to the world and kickstart a climate change revolution. Thank you. Thanks, Graham. Eileen Kalidoukas from Sleepy Bub, and your time starts now. All parents know that swaddling a baby is important. In fact, some experts say that correct swaddling may reduce the risk of cot death. But my gosh, swaddling a baby is hard. No matter how well I wrap my babies in a blanket, they kept breaking out and waking themselves up throughout the night. It was torture, but that's when we found the solution. The Sleepy Bub Sleep Suit helps babies sleep safer and remain swaddled all night long with our patient pending and design registered zip down arms. We have one of the only swaddles that holds a baby's arms down with one layer of lightweight fabric and slowly transitions a baby to sleeping with arms free. No wraps, no blankets, this is swaddling made simple. Our stock arrives next week and we're ready to launch, but we need St George Bank's help with marketing so we can get the word out about how good Sleepy Bub is, so we can bring safe, restful sleep back into the family home. Thank you. Thanks, Eileen. Dale Beaumont from Bryn. And your time starts now. There are over 500 million business owners on the planet. However, sadly, 50 million fail each year. And the two biggest reasons why are a lack of education and a lack of support. Two years ago, we decided to do something about this problem, and we found the answer in technology. Introducing Bryn, the world's first artificially intelligent business advisor. Bryn is a smartphone app that's capable of providing human-like support and personalized education to every entrepreneur on the planet all at the same time. I'm pleased to say we've just launched in the Apple App Store, so you can download the app today. Just search for Bryn. And in terms of our revenue model, we'll be free for the first 12 months, and then after we'll release paid subscription plans. We've come a long way in the last two years, but now we need your help in order to fund our Android development and also to roll out a global marketing campaign. By supporting us, you're helping every entrepreneur that's ever had a dream to turn their great ideas into reality. Before we go, Bryn's got something to say. Sydney. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Dale was our final Kickstarter for today. 
Uh, please join me in giving the guys a round of applause. It's not whether you win or lose, as they say, it's how you play the game. So our judges are just tallying up their scores now and pretty sure we're going to have some checks moving over imminently. Do you guys have a favourite? What did you think? They are pretty good, weren't they? Very good. Much harder than it looks after you're doing a 60-second pitch. And these guys, as they mentioned, will be using this money in any way that they like. So $25,000. Imagine that to get your idea up and started. Use it on marketing, more staff, anything you like, really. Remo, how do you, th you think they went? I... I didn't, I didn't uh, put any number in that was below six, so I think it was very, very good. I had a couple of uh, faves. I'm, I don't know if I'm meant to talk about that, though, am I? Or is it... Talk about whatever you want. Yeah. Um, well, I'm a little bit... As a communicating guy, I thought the, the first idea, the bubble, was very strong. The interface between, you know, online real space and virtual space is a particular uh, fascination of mine, and I think if that... Uh, the, get the technology right on that one, it could be good. And I also thought that the Air Buddy uh, was a wonderful idea. As a, someone who's done a little bit of scuba diving and snorkeling in his life, I, I think that's uh, correctly protected. It's got a, a big potential. Thanks, Remo. And Jack, what did you think of the calibre of our final 13? It was actually really refreshing standard of pitch and, and, and more importantly, really standard of innovation coming out of today's businesses. Um, it's refreshing to see people doing things differently and thinking innovatively about the businesses they're looking to start as a really high standard. Thanks very much. Well, the votes are in. That happens very quickly. Uh, this is in no particular order, um, but the five winners for today are Eileen Kaladukas with Sleepy Bub. Congratulations, Eileen. How do you feel? Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Our second winner of the $25,000 seed money is Jan Kaldek from Air Buddy. Congratulations! Woo! Here we go. Bit of a dance. Thanks, Jan. James Oliver from Conway. Congratulations, James. Get those shipping containers moving for us. What a great idea. Number four is Ian Conway Lamb from Iridium Dynamics. Congratulations, Ian. Another great idea. And our final is Dale Beaumont, final speaker from Brin. Congratulations, mate. Congratulations to all our winners. Go do with it what you will. I mean, use it on the business, but you know. Um, join me in giving them a round of applause. Thanks so much to our judges as well. Thank you.